So here we have to solve the equation 3 sine squared theta minus 2 cos theta minus 3 equal to 0 for the value of theta between 0 and 180 degrees. Now, how are we going to solve this? So at first view, we will have to kind of play with the equation. Now here we have cos theta, so obviously we cannot change much with this one. However, for this one we can change something. We realize that sine theta, square theta, sorry, e is equal to what? 1 minus cos square theta. So, replace back in the main equation, you will have 3 times this, that will be 3 minus 3 cos square theta minus 2 cos theta minus 3 equal to 0. Now let's try to rearrange this, you will have what? Let's send everything to, to this side, you will have 3 cos square theta plus 2 cos theta. So here we have 3 minus 3, this will cancel out obviously, and then we have to equal to 0. Now from here we can actually factorize this equation because here we have cos theta and cos, so cos square and cos, so you will have to factorize cos theta outside. So you will have 3 cos theta plus 2 equals to 0. Right. Now after factorization obviously we can just solve to find the value of theta. The first value will be cos theta is equal to 0 and then we can have cos theta plus 2 is equal to 0. Now for this one that will be cos theta is equal to minus 2 over the value of 3. Now, now let's look at one by one. So here we have cos theta equal to 0. So let's find theta. Theta will be cos inverse of 0. That should be what? Let's find out. Cos inverse of 0 here we have to use degrees, that will be 90 degrees. Now this will also be what, 270, so 360 minus the angle, that will be 270. So we have two values for theta, for theta in this case, right, because we have to know that even if it is 0, it will have to be in the first quadrant, ASTC in the fourth quadrant. This is simply theta, this is 360 minus theta. Now for this one, cos is negative, so we know that if it is negative, it will have to be in the second quadrant and the third quadrant. So here you will have to be uh, 180 minus x, for example, and here have to be 180 plus x. Now, x is not the answer, obviously. And because we have the negative value here, I will try to go through the angle x. I will not be finding theta first, because I have a negative value here. Now it is obviously my uh, technique that I apply every single time. So if you guys wanna follow this, you can always follow this step. So to find x first, that will be cos inverse of the positive value of this. So x will be what? So cos inverse of two the over three, that should be 48.2 degrees. Now, this is the value of x for um, this one when it is positive. However, here we need the value of theta. Theta will be according to the quadrants. As you can see, first one is 180 minus x. Now, minus minus 48.2, that should be 131.8. And it can be 180 plus 48.2, that should be 228.2. Okay, now from this we can derive, we can uh, conclude that theta will be the value of 90 and 131.8 degrees because the rest will be outside of the domain that we are allowed to find the value of theta. And that will be question in relation to trigonometry.